Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord and today we're going to be talking a little bit more about PlayStation 4 mods, Fallout 4, Skyrim Remastered and also some Farming Simulator. Now, of course, by now you guys know that Farming Simulator on the PlayStation 4 has now been greenlit to have mods, yet Fallout 4 has not. Sony just will not allow Fallout 4 to have mods whatsoever on their console, and it's unaware to us really why, what exactly is the big deal about this. So today we're actually going to be looking at a couple of tweets from Pete Hines himself, he is the one of the main people at Bethesda right now, and he actually answered it a little bit vaguely I would say, but we're going to be talking about that tweet right now. So a couple of days ago, on 19th of September, a guy called Crazy Eights tweeted to Pete Hines, saying, What the hell, Pete? A farm game is gonna have mods, and you guys drop the ball with mods. Wow. Just wow. Thanks, Bethesda. Then Pete Hines went on to say, it's not the same thing. He then replied with, how is it not the same thing? They'll have user mods, so how about you tell us where you guys went wrong? Pete then replies with, what they contain, allow you to change and add and so on. Then another guy called Hunter of, Hunter of Camels said, treat Pete, try to sound less vague, which he has a real bad habit of doing when replying to people. And he said, I'm not going to explain different ways games do mods with 140 characters. Look at what each does and doesn't do. Not hard. So, again, he was kind of vague in that tweet, he didn't really have to throw in the 140 characters thing, he could have just kind of summarised it up a little bit, but again, he wasted most of his characters on explaining that he won't have many characters to actually explain things, again, being vague, and he did it on purpose, you can tell, but let us not go too much into that, we're going to be talking about here exactly what is so different about these two games' modifications that make Sony say no, you're not having PlayStation 4 mods on Fallout 4 or Skyrim. So let's first take a look at Farming Simulator and what mods this game has to offer the users who play it. So here you can see that I am on the Farming Simulator website and I have clicked on the mods option at the top right here and we're just going to kind of look at what kind of mods this game has to offer. So obviously, first of all, we can see a lot of character model kind of uh, mods. So of course, this will be replacing tractors with different vehicles, I guess? A lot of vehicles mods, actually, which can be expected, you know, different types of tractors and just stuff like that, really. Um, we're going on down, we can see that this is probably going to be some kind of area mod in which adds a new area to the game. Again, more different kind of models. Oh wow, there's a vault -Tec pack. Oh, that's, that's pretty much in your face, I guess. That's... <laughs> okay, so they actually allow Coca-Cola mods, which is very surprising. Um, also, we do have different kind of extensions, we have switch characters, we have more vehicle mods, and it kind of looks like that is just about what this game's about, just getting different vehicles, modding different vehicles, and that's pretty much it. Let's just go to top downloaded really quick. We can see that you can add a machinery rental mod, and yeah, like I said, basically just adding different things. Not really any cheat mods, I guess this one could be classed as a cheat mod, but other than that, nothing else, really. Yeah, nothing else at all, so let's get off that, and yeah, as you can see, obviously, there is a lot of model mods going on, you know, changing different models of objects and items and stuff like that, and if we look at Fallout 4 mods, there's obviously a couple of mods that can make you jump really high up in the air, make you have unlimited credits, unlimited uh, ammunition, stuff like that, which can, can, in some way, be classed as a cheat. Now, what I'm thinking is Pete has obviously said that, you know, there are diff two different types of mods here, uh, from the Fallout ones to the Farming Simulator ones. Well, how about you know, you only allow PlayStation mods that change the models 
in the game, such as a new power armor or a new weapon, I wouldn't see there would be much of a problem around that situation, to be honest. I mean, yeah, just kind of, if somebody tries to put a cheap mod on it, just say, no, it's not getting onto our system, and don't put it onto the PlayStation 4 mod server. Just completely knock it off and say, no, you're not having that mod on this system. You only need to have graphical changes and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I get from that tweet anyway. He's saying that, you know, Farming Simulator only changes the models in the game, whereas Fallout mods can do all sorts of things, and that is not good at all, and Sony do not want to do that. So, I don't know, I would really like to have some kind of information about this, if that's the case, and, you know, I would like to know from Bethesda if they would be considering only uploading character model mods to the PlayStation 4, allowing PlayStation users to initially have some sort of modifications in their game. But uh, guys, tell me what you think. This is very interesting to actually kind of speculate about. Obviously, this hasn't been really talked about much, and I just kind of want to know what you guys feel, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, guys, if this information did help you out or you enjoyed the video, then please remember to give this video a like, as it does help me out more than you know. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya!